Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday, and I have a little helper here doing some meal prep. I wanted to share some of my containers and some of my meal prep for tomorrow. And who is with me today? Kaden. Kaden. And why aren't you going to really help me, Kaden? You're just going to be looking on. Because I've been sick for the past, um, I think... Just a couple of hours. A couple of days. Uh, maybe maybe more like a couple of hours, but yeah. we'll see. We're going to make a new overnight oats recipe, and we're also going to be creating some snacks and showing how we're going to use one of each of our 21-day fixed containers. But this breakfast is good for anybody. Again, it's overnight oats, so it's good on the go. I have, as usual, two-thirds of a cup of almond milk. I'm making two servings, so it's one-third of a cup per serving. I have one yellow container of rolled oats. Caden likes rolled oats, right? Yeah. This way it'll count as one half of a yellow container when all is said and done. Okay. I'm gonna, yes, you can help me, that's fine. Can you add this? Do you remember what these are called? Chia seeds. Chia seeds. I have one half of an orange container of chia seeds because I'm also it's going to sticking. add one half of an orange container Mom, of flax sticking. seed. It, some of it does stick. Go ahead, you can add the flax seed ground flax seed that I have to keep in the fridge. That's fine. So this will count as one half of an orange container as well. I'm also going to add to it one red container filled with non-fat, plain, non-fat, right, Kate, non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. So we're getting one half of a red container of protein in just through that. I'm going to give this a quick little stir. And it's pretty thick, you can see all of the seeds. The chia seeds, if anyone hasn't tried them yet, chia seeds do expand and get into a little gel-like consistency when they're uh, soaked overnight in any kind of moisture. If you're not a rice pudding or tapioca pudding fan, um, which I'm really not, I like to mix it with rolled oats to have an overnight oats with chia seeds as opposed to just the chia pudding. But if you like the consistency, a plain chia pudding would be good. Now we're going to make this a special treat today. So we are going to add to it a nice scoop of organic, whoa, chocolate hazelnut spread. Where's my front label? There it is. I got this at Whole Foods. It is not, it is not, let's see if I can get a little. Nah. Kaden, can you grab one more little spoon, a clean spoon, so I can add a little bit more? It is not um, Nutella. It's a little bit, a little bit healthier. Um, just to add a little bit of a uh, flavor to this, we are making chocolate berry oats. Go ahead. Not too much. That's enough. So this would count as one of your teaspoons each day. One teaspoon each day. There we go. Now it looks and smells a little bit more like chocolate. So we're going to divide this into two containers, leaving a little bit of room at the top. I like my baby bullet containers, as some of my followers have noticed. They are perfect size. Yes, girlfriend, what's up? Can I do these two and do this? This part? No, Ladybug, I don't really want you touching it with germs. And I've got a purple container filled with some raspberries and strawberries. So I'm going to top half of each right on top. Raspberries and strawberries right on top of my oats. Some of them are falling over. I'm going to pack it full. So this breakfast, our chocolate berry overnight oats, will count as one half of a purple, one half of a red, one half of an orange, and one half of a yellow. I also have one half of a blue container filled with hummus, and I'm going to fulfill a green container by filling it with red peppers I already have chopped up, and some baby carrots. Awesome, awesome. Pack that in. And this is going to be one of my afternoon snacks, which is awesome. Tomorrow night for dinner, I am making, um, what are we making? Why can't I remember now what it's called? Uh, banana swirl. We're not making banana swirl. Uh, 
we're making fajitas. We're making steak and chicken fajitas. So I'll be using a half of a green container as well as a full red container and the other half of my blue for some cheese in each of those. Instead of using sour cream, I'm going to use um, some non-fat Greek yogurt with my fajitas and I'm also going to be using an Ezekiel tortilla to wrap it all up in, which is delicious. And Caden, can you point at the crock pot back there? You see the crock pot cooking? We've got our salsa chicken, which is an absolute favorite in our household now for lunches. Both my husband and I really enjoy it. There's the crock pot and some college basketball back there. That is ready right now. We're gonna open that up and shred it up. And I'll have that over some spinach with some avocado um, on the days that I don't have fat in my dinner. Tomorrow I do, so no avocado in my salad tomorrow, but it'll still be good. So that's one way to make your containers. Kaden's almost going off of her chair. And we've got a brand new overnight oats S our, uh, recipe. Wanna say goodbye? Yeah, she's not herself today. But thanks for watching and thanks for helping me, sissy. Thanks. Bye, everybody.